I don't know what that means. Laughing skulls. Uh, what do I think of this game? I think it's pretty great. Uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. Oh gosh. Um, I think it's got a good level of difficulty. Uh, I think the controls are solid. I think we accidentally fell. <laughs> Alright, I think we were... I'm not sure if we were supposed to be going this way. Oh, yeah, we were. Really increase attack power at risk of losing HP. Not sure if that's worthwhile or not. Uh, why Vancaster? Evancaster? Not entirely sure how to say your name. But, uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that's a mimic. Uh, we definitely could have done that a lot, uh, differently. Um... Okay, um, I see a couple of directions we could go. You know what, I don't think we've been down here. There is a secret here somewhere. Turn into a cat. Uh, I definitely think that's that's got to be one of my favorite things in this game. Turning into a cat. <laughs> what do you guys have to say? Uh, building is corrupted. Uh, really? You think? Yeah, you know, weird. It's got some uh, some strange growths. Uh, you might want to call an exterminator. Many months? What have you been eating? Obvious secret is obvious. Don't trust that painting. What do I think needs improvement? Um... Improvement. Uh, maybe an additional um, one or two, like, attacks might be useful or interesting. As opposed to just having uh, our melee attack and the uh, arrows. Maybe an alternate form of a melee attack. I don't know what that did. an Elysian tale? Uh, yeah. Um, I think... I don't know. I, I I would say I like this better so far. I, I never finished Dust. Um, wasn't really my thing. Um, I don't know. I feel like that game takes too, too long to become challenging, whereas this, it's, uh, it starts out 
fairly challenging right from the get-go and keeps up that pace. Um, every time you get something that makes you stronger, the game go throws more stuff at you. Uh, yeah, the combat in this is definitely like the thing that shines the most. Um, I really do like the uh, the pixel art though, as well. Pixel art is pretty great. All right, that does not open from that side. Maybe we can get up there. Combo system is too distracting. Yeah. How the heck do we get over there? Skeleton, go away. Um, I think the boss fights in this game are pretty great. Definitely missing something. Well, that clears up some of them. Ah. Nope, wrong one. Get hit way too much. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing is like it it's really didn't have the uh, I don't know it felt too modern I don't know like I feel like this has like the best things from modern uh, platformers or some of the best things from modern platformers but it kind of has a an old school charm to it. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I do like Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, that's another good, pretty challenging side scroller. Um, the only thing I wasn't huge with in that game is uh, I didn't really have boss fights per se. Um, I mean, it had some cool escape uh, sections that were pretty neat, but... Oh, you can kill these guys. That makes things a little easier. Oh, that's the box! The box! Alright, we're leaving. Found the box. Nothing else matters. Oh gosh. Well, I'm glad that wasn't instant death. Don't need to have pixel art just to get over their hardware limitations. Yeah, yeah. Um, and honestly, I think it can, uh, a lot of games with, like, art styles like this end up looking a lot better than some of your, like, more ambitious games graphically. Sometimes those just kind of fall, f fall flat. That's satisfying. Where are we at? Oh, that was a huge mistake. Oh, I should have just gone left. <sighs> now we got to do all that over again. Don't think we get the items. Didn't think so.
Oh, come on. Okay, let's just run. Ah! Being too impatient. <sighs> Being way too impatient. Trying to go too fast. Oh my gosh. Actually hit me from there? Castlevania is still better. Castlevania is definitely good. Um, some better than others. I would say, personally, I would put this above uh, some of the Castlevania games. Just because the combat is significantly better than most of them. A lot of the Castlevania games definitely have some uh, better level design, better enemy design. Um, but, uh, I don't know. in the wrong direction. Alright. Got the sealed wind. The dodging mechanic? Uh, yeah, the dodging mechanic definitely plays a big part. I would say. Oh my gosh, get off me! There we go. Um... Also, the game just has really nice movement. The controls are uh, very, very tight and uh, well thought out. I will say that the bow is kind of overpowered. to the left. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about that. Alright, you know what? Before we continue on... Wait, does this lead back down? Yeah, before we continue on, uh, we're gonna backtrack a little bit. Because we finally got this box. I have a feeling we're near the end of the game. At 74% map completion. You know what, let's just fast travel to the, uh... 
monastery. I think that'll get us closest to where we want to be with a, as few uh, enemies in between us and our goal. Maybe not. Yep, there is. Here it is. Like a 2D Dark Souls? Uh, yeah, it's it's got some obvious Dark Souls inspirations. Um, I think it also has some Bloodborne uh, inspirations. Hey, the, the maple leaf in hibisco tea? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that does. Did we just get an upgrade for our melee weapon, finally? Uh, I think we did. It's green now. Gosh. Controls are a little bit slippier, slippery with the cat. Yep. It's, uh... Definitely stronger. All right, I'm I'm totally on board with this. Um, oh, are there any other secrets we need? Um, fourteen ivory bugs out of twenty, so that means there's six left. Uh, we still don't know. There's that, uh... Hmm. I don't know. Alright. So, those, uh, witches took, uh, three, you know, they took four hits before, now they take three. The dogs used to take, I think, four hits. Now they take two. There's that. Um... There's a room down there that we never opened. Why she never runs out of arrows? Uh, mm. I assume they're just not real arrows. <laughs> uh, right, I think we're gonna go down and see where that leads. Thought I checked everything down here before, but apparently not. Elevator equals cat time. Down, over, over, down, down. Ow. Ow. This jerk. Throwing bombs! Oh, uh, forgot to switch! That's gonna get me killed! Hmm. 
Hmm. Go down here. Allegedly, there's a way through here. Buddy. Cake. <laughs> uh, you're you're correct. about oh there's a secret down here sure what to do with this. Uh... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. There we go. Every bug. got five of those bugs left to find. Um, looks like they left us space for like two more areas or three more areas on this list. Uh, and what we're gonna do. Do a bit more backtracking. Ow. We didn't miss anything. Hmm. 
Talk to the witch lady again. Anything? Yeah, this is definitely new. Check this outcome. Did she? Okay. Um, so if she had new stuff to say. Anything else? Okay, just the same thing. Um, don't have a warp point into... Yeah. Cinder, or whatever it is. Oh, actually, do we have a key for this yet? I don't think we do. Let's drop down. Heading in the right direction. Uh, this is the safer way. Do you have anything? Oh, she's gone. Huh. Alright, she's gone now. So, we'll probably run into her somewhere else. Uh... Hey, Professor Portal. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. 